Anytime you talk about a Pixel device, you always get comments about how the Tensor processor that they use is just not good enough. You often hear people say it's just an Exynos processor. And while there's a lot of nuance to both of those topics, there has long been sort of hope at the end of this light, at the end of this tunnel, if you will, the rumor, the speculation that Google would be switching from having Samsung make these processors where they are sort of based off of what Samsung already knows how to do, customized by Google, of course. But they're going to be switching to TSMC, which is a different foundry, and they're going to be using their own design from the ground up, Google design made by TSMC, these Tensor processors, thereby receiving a really, really large bump in efficiency and overall power, truly kind of becoming their own thing. Today in this video, we are going to be talking about one of, I'm going to be honest, one of my favorite like news headlines I've seen in a long time, because this is like real deal reporting. I absolutely love it from Android Authority. Google Pixel 10, the Tensor G5 chip, will be manufactured by TSMC and we can prove it. So in this article, they start off by echoing a lot of the same sentiments that I think a lot of people have, that you know, going with Samsung to produce these chips kind of allowed them to speed up the process, but eventually they're gonna have to switch to TSMC because these processors just suffer in terms of thermals and efficiency, and if you're suffering in thermals and efficiency, then you can't really push the clock speeds, you can't push the power where you need it to be either. Samsung's foundry is no match for TSMC, but then they go a bit further because they found this publicly available trade database that they claim proves TSMC will be supplying their next processor. And I'm super glad that they broke this down because I think most of us would look at this and maybe we would see a few things like SOC, description of goods, SOC. Maybe we'd see some things that would draw our interest, but we need some actual expertise on this. So if we scroll down, they break down what this means. And this section here, if we scroll back up, is this section here next to description of goods. Basically, when companies import or export, they are required to declare the contents, value, and types of goods being traded. And this stuff can be obtained publicly. And a lot of it, like I said, you need some expertise to break down what exactly it means. But evidently, they have this. And this is what we have. So this first bit is the Google part number. The next part is the goods type, which is a system on a chip. The next thing, LGA, is apparently a shortened version of the code name Laguna for this processor. We have a chip revision, which is A0. We have a revision of the OTP version 1. Most importantly, though, we have a manufacturer, which is TSMC. Now, there's some other things to it, but that is the most important part. Google is having a chip made by TSMC sent over to them. Now, of course, these are extremely early. When you see things like A0, when you see things like V1, this does indicate that this is a very, very, very early version of these processors, and that is to be expected. We don't even have the Pixel 9 yet in our hands, so of course this processor, which will not be in the Pixel 9, keep that in mind, can be in the Pixel 10, the 9 is going to have the G4 still made by Samsung Foundry. This is still pretty early days for this stuff, but the work is being done, and that is a really big deal. Now, there's a lot more detail in the article itself. I'm going to link to it in the description. Click it and go read this article because they do talk about more things like the RAM and what that might mean going forward, how they think that that lines up with what we know about the Pixel 9. But again, they did this reporting. They deserve the click, so go click that link in the description. At any rate, though, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. How big of a difference do you think this is going to make to not just the performance, the efficiency of the Pixel 10, but the overall perception? I made a video a few months back discussing whether or not I thought Google should abandon this Tensor project or not, and I think that this is the first really big step in this project since it began. This was sort of always the plan. Google has long-term ambitions with this stuff, starting with Samsung and using their expertise to get the ball rolling, to experiment, to find out what they wanted Tensor to be before eventually coming up with their own design as they build up this 
part of their company, right? Like they've not made processors before, so they had to do it this way. But eventually, they do have the expertise to design from the ground up their own processor and then have someone like TSMC build it, and they can step away from Samsung. And I talked about how that was the long-term ambition, and once that happened, things could really start to get interesting in the processor space between Tensor and Snapdragon processors. It seems as though that time is finally almost here, but I would love to know what you guys think about that in those comments. In the meantime, subscribe for more content just like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.